Cards with state is the next visual we will be taking a look at. Uh, as you can see, unlike the other visual that can cost you thousands of dollars, this one you could get for free. You just have to go to their website, go through the purchasing process, provide your email address, and they will send you a key. You could take that key, add it into the properties of the chart, and that unlocks the premium features. So here we're looking at the two cards I created. We're looking at the margin by segment. So we have consumer and professional segments. And then I'm also trending the five weeks that I have selected. I like that you have mean, which is here in red, and max value for this week. And I think it's useful to show the trend. Uh, this custom chart also suffers from the same issue that all custom charts that I have been uh, recently working with suffer. And that is just complexity, lack of documentation, and not being very intuitive. I think that if you are a beginner in Power BI, all of these charts are not even an option. So you really need to know what you're doing. You really need to understand what's going on to be able to get those, those charts to work. So even though this chart is free, I'm not as excited about this chart as I am about the tree list control. Uh, I was able, I, I, I do like a bunch of things here, but uh, I was not able to do some uh, other formatting things that I thought would be important for a KPI-esque control like this. Uh, they have a bunch of different options with, with formatting and conditions and other things. So you could do a lot of cool things. I just couldn't do the things I wanted to do. So I am kind of neutral. I would say that the trellis control, I would recommend to at least take a look and then as, you know, figure out if it's worth your org and worth the trouble of dealing with the purchasing cycle. With this one, it's free. Maybe that's why. I mean, it's, it, it's feature rich. It's packed with a bunch of different features. Unfortunately, a lot of those features I didn't care for. I just don't, didn't, didn't need them for what I was trying to tell in this dashboard. And what I thought I would, it would be cool for this dashboard, I couldn't find and figure out how to do it with, um, with the features that were available. I will probably spend more time. If I figure it out, maybe I'll do a retraction and uh, change my opinion. But so far, I'm kind of lukewarm on that. It's free, so hey, you know, you register, you get the control. Uh, what do you have to lose? But in terms of the functionality, it's, uh, it's just okay.